Hello, my name is Susan Wilbanks, and I am one of the worship leaders at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in the Green Lake neighborhood of Seattle. Welcome to Noonday Prayer for Wednesday, the 20th of October. If you have a copy of the Book of Common Prayer, we will be beginning on page 103, or you are always welcome to listen and let the prayers wash over you. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We will now say together Psalm 126, which begins on page 105. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev, those who sowed with tears will reap songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Philippians, Chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about those things. Thanks be to God. These few verses from the Epistle to the Philippians feel especially timely to me in the fall, since like many of us here in the Northwest, I struggle with seasonal affective disorder this time of year as the days shorten and darken so dramatically. Um, I need that reminder more than ever just to continue finding joy and to seek out examples of goodness, justice, and truth in the world around me. And that in my hunger for a more just world, it's just as important to acknowledge what is working, what is getting better, as to recognize and call out the injustice and call out injustice and the need for change. So today I encourage you to take some time for joy, even if it's really small things. Um, I was enjoying today watching a pair of crows that seem to be kind of play, play fighting each other. Just even little things like that or the beauty of fall leaves. So take that time for joy and to acknowledge the excellence and praiseworthiness in the world around you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, 
and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. I now invite your prayers and thanksgivings, whether silently or aloud. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that you are doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.